I don't know why I'm doing this. Sorry. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. What's good? Wait, try speaking um, again. Your microphone is atro is actually atrocious. I'm sorry, it's my phone. It's been smashed to hell. I'm not very careful. Okay. Um. Hi, Destiny Stream. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Okay, you tweeted at me because you were mad, and people tweet at me because they get mad at this thing over and over again. I was so not mad. It was in passing. I just have you, funny I'm pretty sure you quote tweeted. At, do we need to find the original tweets? I have funny, irreverent things to say, and they just happen to be concerning you this time. Okay. Well, what's your what's your problem? Get it out. My prob. Okay. Wait. Hold on. I wrote a little bit. Okay. Hello, chat. My name is Stacy McSlay, also known as Fiona LaPel, formerly known as the Brokeback Suite, but I will always be known as that guy who made a shitty fan cam for Vosh that he somehow enjoyed enough to retweet. I'm a rising internet superstar, and I produce amazing content on all my social medias. Anyway, me and Destiny had an encounter on Twitter where I may or may not have made fun of him, but, like, besides the point, it was over this tweet that I believe you deleted? Um, I, all my tweets every, like, month or two get wiped. Um, so I, it, maybe it depends on how recently the tweet was. I should do that, too. I'm, like, a horrible tweeter. Please don't go into my history. It's so embarrassing. Anyway. It was like, it was a Reddit post from a subreddit, uh -huh. and what you could see on screen was the the thing, is inviting a man to your home expectation dot dot dot, and I tried to look up the original post on Reddit, but like I couldn't find it. So and I, you doing my best face summary of the post. I think that the um, I think that the post was somebody was on a date with a guy afterwards. I think she invited him to the house. They ended up not doing anything, and I think he expressed disappointment in a text or something later after he left. I, I don't remember. Don't quote me 100%, but something like that. And then basically the post was a bunch of people arguing about whether or not if somebody is invited over to your house after a date, is there like an expectation that something sexual is going to happen, basically? Yeah. Um, you tweeted specifically, Jesus, this subreddit, don't invite someone over to your house unless you're comfortable fucking them. And I took a little bit of issue with that. Um, I responded to someone else who was like, uh, I don't get it. This is okay to me. And I made some tweet, probably not very well written. I think it was late, but like fundamentally, I, I can understand where you're coming from because I think you personally may believe that this is just like, you know, nice advice to give to someone so they don't end up in a position like that. And I can understand telling someone, you know, don't do that because people will have these certain expectations but in this specific context it just came off really, really apologetic to me just because like she was c talking about how she was having these uncomfortable encounters and you were like just don't like they're gonna fucking expect that don't invite them over and i think it's weird to respond to like that i feel like okay so i feel like we, you've accelerated the whole conversation to more or less where all of these end up which is you think i was 100 percent correct with what i said i'm 100 no. percent correct in the advice that i'm giving but i needed to put at the end by the way don't anybody and if anybody it's not your fault to make it okay no i think that it's very um she was asking for it right i think it's the same as when someone's well, i don't not wait 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 all... hold on okay i th i think that we've gotten like so afraid of quote-unquote victim blaming that like we can no longer have real conversations like, I mean, she if isn't I, really like, let's say, let's say that, like, I, I feel like I could write this story where, like, I told this guy that I was going to suck his dick, and I told him all night, I can't wait get, to get home to suck your dick, and then when I got him on my bed, um, he, I got on my knees, and in front of me, he took his dick, and I was like, I'm going to suck your dick, but then I decided to change my mind, and I'm like, oh, well, actually, hold on, I don't want to do this, and when the guy left, he seemed really disappointed, and then he messaged me, and he was like, I felt like you were going to suck my dick, do you guys think that, like, he ha it was right to have that expectation, and then if I were to tweet out, if you tell somebody that you're going to suck your dick, like, 400 times, yeah, they're probably going to have that expectation for it. And then when they don't, you know, they're probably going to be disappointed. And I feel like everybody be like, oh, my God, that is so victim blamey. You are a apologist. And it's like, no. That's not the situation at all. And you're taking one kind of consent, which is to come over as a different kind of consent. It doesn't necessitate to me the invitation to come over as an invitation for sex. Like well, I've had people necessary. over and all play Pokemon cards. Sure, but that's not normal after a date, right? I'm not saying that you have to fuck somebody, but I'm saying that, like, if, hold on, I, sorry, one second.
just I, no worries, I, I, cool. I can't like this is like I feel like an insane person have you ever do you ever watch have you ever heard of Seinfeld I'm far too young for that noise okay have you ever seen any of a million sitcoms where there's always some scene where the girl is like hey do you want to come up for drinks or coffee and the guy's like no that's okay I'm not thirsty and then he drops the girl off and he drives away and then like the next day he's like oh my god I'm a dumb fuck she was inviting me up to have sex like if you, I'm sure you've seen like scenes in movies or TV shows or whatever where this happens and the guy realizes like, like oh fuck I'm so stupid like that wasn't like I, I feel like when we do dating kind of, when we do dating I just, or go ahead say what you're gonna say sorry no I was gonna make a joke I was just gonna say I just watch the Star Wars movies on repeat I don't engage in any other kind of popular culture okay well um I feel like when we you can, make, can you say like how old you are I am 17 okay um wait just or hold on one second don't make fun of me for like in star wars it's a very v valid thing <clears throat> hold on wait fuck my mic is fucking up one second hold on okay, okay. this person doesn't have any yes, experience with hookup culture at all uh... i don't know what i'm supposed to say what am I even supposed to say to this person? They can't even, they don't have a place for anybody to go over and sleep over to. Of course, when somebody sleeps over, they play Pokemon. They're 17. They're going to their mom's place. Okay, wait, is this working now? Can you hear me? I can, I can hear you. Okay. So it's my experience. Now, I, not to dox you, but I think you said you were a bonger. Um, so maybe it's different in bonger land. But I think yeah. that like, um, Typically, and I think this is a shitty reality. I don't like this, but typically people aren't usually ultra straightforward with what they want. Usually they kind of like, I don't say they dance around it, but it's like kind of a game, right? Like if you really want to have sex with somebody, you're not usually going to be like, come to my house and let's fuck. That's like not usually going to be the conversation, right? It's, you, it's going to be like, hey, you want to come over tomorrow? Netflix and chill. That's where that saying comes from is people being a little cagey about what they want. If you go, I feel like if you go on a date with somebody and then the date is going well, and then afterwards... The person is like, hey, do you want to come back to my place? Usually there's only one reason to ever do that, and that's because you want privacy. Um, if you just want to drink coffee Obama. or get a drink, you can go to a Starbucks or a coffee shop or a bar and you can get drinks. But re usually the reason why you go back to somebody's place is because you want some level of privacy, and usually what you need privacy for is like sexual activity. So I feel like when I'm talking to people that are like trying to get involved in like dating culture or hookup culture, when somebody is... Um, doesn't isn't aware of that i think you can get yourself into one really bad situations and then two like get people a little bit irritated with you because you're sending like super mixed signals not you in particular but anybody like if i was to talk to a person and invite them to my house over and over again and i never expressed any interest once they were here they would probably start to feel a little bit mind fucked. like why does this guy keep bringing me back to my house but he only wants to play like pokemon cards or something like i don't understand he's sending me mixed signals i think i think that's generally what i my concern is when i talk to people about like this the expectations thing not that you like have to if you invite somebody to your house you're not obligated to fuck them otherwise it's like immoral but that when you are doing that that is the signal you're sending and i think it's good to be aware of that i think it's just kind of accurate right but you specifically said don't invite someone over to your house unless you're comfortable with that to someone complaining that they are uncomfortable with the fact that their date is repeatedly coming on to them mm -hmm. because they didn't take that as that signal well to be like clear the, on that date thing for, like, implicit nobody consent. got like nobody got or anything there was never any inappropriate touching no sexual assault nothing like that i think it's just yeah um i don't remember what it, so it's not like the guy did anything like holy shit it was just that he had a really different expectation um so there's, there's like two parts to this. So one, I do believe that. You probably shouldn't invite somebody over your house unless you're comfortable fucking them because one, you're sending really mixed signals. But two, and this is like, um, oh, okay, so I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not attacking you for your age. I swear to God I'm not, okay? But, That's um, fine. Yeah, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. There is a, um, are you, I, I'm sorry, I can't tell because you're boys. I'm just being honest. Are you a guy or a girl? I am a guy, he, they. Okay, he, they. I don't give a fuck about pronouns, okay? But you're a guy, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So... When you're a, there's a really weird thing when you're a woman, and I think a lot of guys don't know this because they either, they just don't engage with women this way. A lot of men, like 95% of men, could probably kill like 95% of women just because of the difference in size and everything. So when you're a woman and then you're living on your own, the place that you live at, it's actually really scary if a guy knows where you live and you don't like him or you don't want him to know where you live. So in my opinion, like inviting guys over to your house as a woman is like, one of the most like severe things or one of the most vulnerable things you can do more vulnerable even than having sex like meeting a guy at a hotel and having sex with him in my opinion is less scary than telling a guy yeah. where you live 
So with taken into all of that, I'm just saying that like, if you're at the stage where you're literally inviting a guy over to your house, like you, at the very least, you trust him enough to have sex with him because you're telling him where you live. And then also for a social cue thing, like if you're giving that signal off, you probably should be expecting, like assuming everything continues to go well, we're probably gonna have sex. Otherwise inviting him over is just sending like really weird mixed signals, I think. I just don't get the mixed signal. Like I understand completely that like privacy is mm -hmm. like obviously an invitation to come out, which could be an incredibly dangerous thing. You wouldn't just hand that out mm -hmm. randomly. But just, I don't understand the fact that like, it would that the fault would fall in just it feels it's not a fault thing i'm not saying i'm not trying to blame anyone really a, i'm just saying that like it's a, it's just confusing let's say I'm there's i'm not trying to blame anyone but like it just mm -hmm. seems really really weird to comment upon it in such a way where you would be like just don't invite them over forehead yeah you should i just it, you shouldn't i think there's like there's appropriate ways to engage with people socially and i would say that's really inappropriate um or at the very least i'd say inappropriate because it's very confusing let's say for instance like like there's there are like there are so many ways to do things let's say there's a girl in town and she um and she has like a, a no sexual interest in me whatsoever but she just wants to like catch up and chat if she sends me a message like hey um tomorrow morning do you want to get coffee or something yeah sure or maybe even like lunch yeah that's fine if she messages me and she's like hey are you free like on saturday night we can go out and get dinner and then afterwards we can get drinks and she just wants to catch up. Well, that's really confusing to me. Now, I'm a respectful person. I'm not going to push for anything. But if somebody makes that type of invitation, I'm thinking like, okay, like I understand like what's on the table now. Like there's a decent chance that if things go okay, we're probably fucking at the end of the night. But I'm saying that when you start making those like what's socially seen as like, oh, when somebody does this, they're kind of inviting you for that. And then you act totally like um, bewildered when you're like, wait, why did you have that expectation? Especially when it comes to inviting someone over to your house. I just think that like everything, you're setting yourself up to be in a really weird spot and you're kind of mind fucking the person that you're engaging with. I mean, it just depends on how you take it, though. You're interpreting the invitation over as a as like generally consent to at least move things slightly further. Yeah, of and course. But I mean, tweet it or, like, sorry, God, God. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, God. No, it's cool. Um, I know that there was a tweeter who specifically was like an invitation over as a step forward to a relationship, and a step in that relationship is just sex, which I thought was weird. But I didn't think that those necessitate each other. I didn't the think that place, the implicit consent went far enough there i really feel like it's just so easy to just say verbally very clearly what you want and it seems weird to interpret these things so wildly but i can understand obviously you do have way more experience um not to say that i don't get bitches i do duh uh -huh. but like yeah but i mean like when you say that like that so i actually agree with you one million percent and i'll i'm actually somewhat autistic when it comes to this i like to have like the full conversation before i'm like oh okay like you want to do this like are we fucking afterwards do you want to do this blah blah blah. like i like to get be very very clear because it, it just it makes things very simple for a variety of reasons but that is very abnormal especially in like the casual dating world right like if i wanted to message a girl and i'm like hey do you want to fuck tonight like a lot of people probably just wouldn't even respond because it's even if they did just because it's so out of left field in terms of social cues But if I message her and I was like, hey, do you want to get something to drink? And then we can come back to my place like watch some TV or whatever she, That's 100% an invitation to fuck and every person knows it But they're more likely to say yes to that for whatever reason um, I just I understand what you're saying that it would be cool if everybody was like really straightforward that I think that would be a better world but since it's not how things operate, I think people have to be aware of kind of the mixed signals they send. Um, it's almost like wearing like appropriate clothing, depending on, on like, um, is it a business meeting mm. or a meeting with family and friends? Like you probably wouldn't wear like the sluttiest outfit you have to go and have like, um, you know, like dinner with your parents. Probably not just cause it wouldn't like m match the situation. You'd be sending like weird signals. Wow. Um, most people wouldn't. Uh, yeah, but I think that's, I'm just kind of talking about like what is like the general social practice and then the expectations thereof so that you're not like sending mixed or weird signals to people. Yeah, no, I get the mixed signals thing. Um, I mean, speaking of clothing then, would you say that the things that you have said and the things that you have tweeted differ from someone saying, um, well, what were you wearing to someone who claims that they were a victim of assault? So I think it's important to note that in this particular thing, there were no victims yeah. of assault, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, also, if let's say somebody said this, I invited a guy over to my house after we went out to dinner and... Um, even though I really wasn't comfortable with it, and I kept telling him, like, hey, no, like, I don't want to do anything. Like, he ended up, like, fucking me. We ended up having sex. Even though I was, like, telling him no, I didn't want to or whatever. Um, like, in that case, like, are you sending kind of, like, mixed signals by inviting someone over your house? Sure, but it's not your fault that they you. Like, it's never your fault when somebody violates your consent. Um, mm -hmm. Even if you send mixed signals, it's not your fault if somebody violates your consent. So, like, depending on, like, I guess, like, what you wear, whatever you're doing, like, I, can you send mixed signals? Yeah, sure. But, like, it's never your fault if somebody crosses one of your boundaries and, and does stuff that you're either 
like saying no to or didn't consent to. So no, I like I never blame anybody for somebody else doing anything. Um, I just think people need to be aware of like the signals that they're setting so that they're not either confusing people or getting themselves into situations that they wouldn't want to be in otherwise just because they don't understand like the social context. True and real, wonderful and great. I fully agree with you here. I'm glad that we had this talk and we could totally clarify these things. Is there anything else you would like to say, like the tweet where I told you to stay out of women's business or whatever? Um, I don't think so, unless you want to talk about it. Or... Well, I, I'll i be very real with you. Mm -hmm. I wondered if your fans would take it seriously or not. I'm not a woman. You can be all up in women's business. I am all the time. It's quite funny. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for having me. You should totally bring me back on again for another segment because it would be awesome and great. Gotcha. Well, hey, thanks for the conversation, mate. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye, Destiny fans. Fuck, I need to ask. I got to get ages first. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I need to get... I need to get ages. 